you are going to learn how to access restricted websites using the Internet Archive without having to pay any money. Hello, welcome to my video series on how to access restricted websites online fast, even if you have tried everything. In this video, we are going to look at a free way of accessing restricted websites using the Internet Archive. My name is Neil. Thank you for dropping by. If you like my channel and you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and smash that bell icon below the video to be notified on further videos that I have got coming up on keeping your devices private, secure and safe. Later in this video, I am going to show you an additional way of accessing restricted websites, so do stay until the end. It is possible to access restricted websites using a free website called the Internet Archive, which is also known as the Wayback Machine. If you are new to the Internet Archive, it stores historic and current copies of most websites. Shortly, I will show you how to use the Internet Archive to access banned websites. This may or may not work for you, depending on the reason you are not able to access the particular website. For example, if you're unable to access the content because your employer is preventing access, then this may be a good solution for you. It may also work if you cannot get access to a website for various other reasons. However, if you also want a high level of anonymity, then keep watching because I will talk about more private methods shortly. The Internet Archive has current and historic pages of most websites, but it's not always got an archive of all websites or all pages. So just be aware of that. So let's get started. Go to the Internet Archive at www archive.org. Then enter the domain name of the site you want to access. What you will then see is all the archived content for the current year. And that's depicted by the circles around the dates on the calendar. Sometimes it archives the site more than once a day. And if it does that, then it'll have the time on that particular day that it archived the site. So you might have multiple times. You'll need to select the latest date and possibly the latest time by clicking on the date that is highlighted and then selecting the latest time if shown. You may find you have to wait for the page to load, which can take a small amount of time. I mean, it's free, so you have to bear that in mind, but just wait, it is worth it. When the website does load, you may not get all of the website functionality that you would normally get if you accessed it directly. For example, things like search, register, login, that kind of thing are not going to work because this is a copy of the website. But you can click links and get to all the main content on most websites. And obviously you can read that content. Now let's talk about an additional way of accessing restricted content. But before I do, if you have not already, can you dislike or like my video? And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and smash that bell icon below. Another way you can access restricted content is by using an RSS feed. If you would like to know more about using an RSS feed to access restricted content, then you are going to love the next video where I show you how to do it. The link to the next video on using RSS feeds to read banned websites is about to show on the screen. Thank you for watching.